spinach. It is a superfood. It's high in vitamin A, a C, a folate, manganese, a magnesium, and it also is high in vitamin K, which is good for your bones. I eat lots of raw spinach. I put it in my smoothies. I put it in my salads. I put it in my wraps. I love spinach and it's good for you. And it's something that you should have in your pantry. But how do you keep spinach in your pantry? Well, I am going to show you a real simple, easy, actually overlooked way to preserve your spinach. Spinach, because this really is a superfood that should be going in your pantry. So, how do we do it? Well, we dehydrate it. So many times we keep thinking, oh, we gotta blanch the spinach, we gotta put it in the freezer. Stop with the freezers. Please stop with the freezers because one day the electricity is not going to be available. And I'm just telling you, the best way to preserve a lot of these fresh vegetables besides canning is dehydrating. Now, what I am going to do in the long term is after I dehydrate my spinach is I'm going to make my own superfood. Yeah, and there'll be a video on that. But for now, I'm gonna walk you through how I use my Excalibur dehydrator to simply dehydrate spinach. Now, the one thing about dehydrating spinach is there really isn't any prep time. There's nothing that you have to do. You don't have to blanch it. You don't have to cut off the stems. You can actually take the spinach itself and just set it on your trays. And you don't even have to be fancy about spreading it apart. Uh, you know, a lot of people are very particular about, oh, we have to, none of the leaves can be on top of each other, and there has to be so much space. That, that's hogwash. I'm telling you, I have done enough dehydrating with air dehydrators, uh, solar dehydrators, uh, Excalibur dehydrators, uh, that it's all going to shrink and it's all going to dehydrate up. So don't worry about it. So what I do is I simply put my spinach on my trays just like that. And again, you don't need to blanch them. You don't need to, now these are organic that came right from the, the farm. So I didn't even have to wash it. But if you're getting, now if your spinach is not fresh, let's say you bought it, you had a really killer sale, maybe at Costco or at the grocery store. Uh, you just want to make sure that you you rinse your spinach really good and then leave them out on your countertop um, on a cheesecloth and air dry it because you don't want to be put it in the the dehyd dehydrator um, with uh, moisture on them so make sure you air dry them and that's kind of the 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 preparatory work when it comes to store-bought but most people will be cutting their own spinach, I'm assuming, and uh, dehydrating it like this. Now, some people say they you got to cut out the stems and you got, okay, I'm going to be grinding this up into a powder and making my superfood. So I don't care about the stems. And you know what? I eat the stems even when I make my salads, okay? So the stems don't bother me. So you're going to turn your dial to 115 because it is considered an herb and it's not a, uh, it doesn't have a lot of water in it so it's going to dry really fast. And then you can set your timer, uh, it's going to take between four to six hours, but I'm going to lean on the, on the six hour mark just because I really stacked my trays with a lot of spinach. All right, and we'll see you in five to six hours. All right, and remember those big trays? This is six hours later. Look at, look at how it shrinks. See? <laughs> now do you believe me that you can, you can really stack your uh, spinach leaves on there? You don't have to worry about separating every leaf because it definitely shrinks up. So now I'm just real quickly, this is what I do with, or what I'm going to continue to do with my, my dried spinach until I make it into a powder, is I just simply take the sheets, and that's why I love uh, these flexible food grade sheets, and I fold them up like this, see, and I use my canning 
pano. I push it right in there. So it just, it packs the jar nicely and it saves a big mess. And you just keep packing and packing. And then I'm going to just put my, my lid on and then I'm going to put it on my shelf until I'm ready to make my powder. See, isn't that awesome? So get dehydrating and be watching for that video on how to make your own superfood.